Namaste Sarasati Devi Boravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschacha Desatarine Vanchakaupa Tarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Yo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We are recounting the uh, Sixth Canto Srimad Bhagavatam, we're on chapter number five, where Daksha is cursing, not going to curse Narada Muni. So we heard uh, how Daksha had offered the Hamsaguya prayers and pleased the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and the Lord benedicted him that he would have many children. He, so the Lord arranged a wife, and then he told him this woman that will be able to conceive many children for you. So it happened that Daksha's wife conceived 10,000 sons. So these 10,000 sons are called the Haryashvas. And when they grew up, then Daksha sent them to prepare for married life. He asked them to first go and do austerities, and when they came back, he was going to arrange for their marriage, and then they would be able to have children, to produce children. Mm, and Daksha is a Prajapati, and his job is to see that the universe is filled up with population. So he was happy to think that 10,000 sons will get married, and then they'll each have many sons, and then this way he'll fill up the universe. But Narada Muni saw these boys, he saw the Haryashvas go, they went to a holy place, and the, in the holy place they were meditating, and Narada Muni was very impressed with their spiritual practice. So Narada Muni, he thought, what, why, he thought these boys, they don't need to get married, they don't need to enter family life. So Narada Muni preached to them. And he convinced them that there was no need for them to go back to their father. And they accepted Narada Muni as their spiritual master, and they followed the path of Narada Muni. 
于是他们也接受了南尔德穆尼为他们的灵性导师，追随了南尔德穆尼的步伐。And they were able to, they never went back to the material world. 他们再也没有再重返到这个物质世界了。So、uh, we're continuing to describe here from the Srimad Bhagavatam.、Uh, It's described that there are seven musical notes used in musical instruments. We continue here. We learn that there are seven notes in music. There are seven notes in music. There are seven notes in music. Used in the musical instruments, and it comes from it comes from the Samaveda. Sa re ga ma ba da ni. These seven instruments are the seven instruments in the music. They are from the Samaveda. So Narada Muni is always vibrating the pastimes of Krishna. Narada Muni is always vibrating the pastimes of Krishna. Uh, he's all Narada Muni is always vibrating things like the Maha Mantra. Narada Muni ye, 同时发出 Maha Mantra, Maha Mantra 罗的音震 And by vibrating the Maha Mantra, he can fix his mind on the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. 通过唱诵这个 Maha Mantra， 他能够把自己的心意专注于主的莲花座 So after Narada Muni had delivered the Hariyashvas. Then Narada Muni continued to travel throughout the material, throughout the planetary systems, the material world. In Narada Muni, he healed these Hariyashvas. After that, he continued to travel throughout the entire universe. His mind is always fixed at the lotus feet of the Lord. His mind is always fixed at the lotus feet of the Lord. He's always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he goes. He is always chanting about the pastimes of the Lord wherever he Sometimes he'll chant Radhika Ramana, Radhika Ramana Ramane, Radhika Ramana Name, Radhika Ramana Name. It's another name for Lord Krishna. He chants the Radhika Ramana Name. This Radhika Ramana is Lord Krishna's other name. And whenever he plays the Vina, then all the devotees begin responding, and they also begin to chant. When he plays the Vena Chin, he chants the Lord's name. So all the devotees also begin to chant. So all the devotees begin to dance in ecstasy. And the, when they're dancing, it's like they're almost, it's like they're intoxicated. They're so ecstatic. When they dance, they're so ecstatic. They're so ecstatic. They're so ecstatic. Just like there's a there's a, a nectar drink called Maduri Pura, and when you drink that nectar, then you also become intoxicated. 就像有一种饮有一种呃有一种汁液叫 Maduri Pura， 当你喝这个 Maduri Pura 的时候，你就会陷入到这种狂喜之中。So when the devotees are chanting, some of them cry, some are dancing, and some they they they're not able to dance, but they. They dance in their heart. Some people are crying, some people are singing, some people are dancing. Some people, if he can't dance, he still is dancing in his heart. And then Lord Shiva comes and he embraces Narada Muni, and they begin to dance together. When Lord Shiva comes, he also embraces Narada Muni. And then Lord Brahma also comes, and he also starts dancing, and he's telling everybody, everybody chant Hari Bo, Hari Bo. 
主 Brahma 这个时候也来了，他也来参加起来，一起来跳舞。他告诉所有人，请一起 Hari b o l h a r i b o l And then Indra, the king of heaven, he also comes and he also joins and he's also chanting Hari b o l h a r i b o l 这个时候，天堂国王的 Indra 也来了，他也加入到这个唱诵和跳舞之中。他也说 Hari b o l h a r i b o l 嗯，这。By the power of the holy name, everybody in the universe becomes ecstatic. 通过圣名的力量和影响，整个宇宙都变得狂喜快乐。嗯， so when the whole universe is all ecstatic, then we pray unto the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami. That the chanting of the holy name will go on forever. 当整个宇宙变得都开始变得狂喜时候，我们向 Rupa Goswami 祈祷，愿这样美好的唱诵继续下去。So Lord Brahma, he is the guru of Narada Muni. 主 Brahma 是 Narada Muni 的灵性导师。Narada Muni, he is he is the guru of Vyasadeva. Narada Muni 又是 Vyasadeva 的灵性导师。Vyasadeva, he is the guru of Madhvacharya. Vyasadeva 又是 Madhvacharya 的灵性导师。And the Godia, some Godia Sampradaya is also coming from Narada Muni. 我们这个 Godia Sampradaya 师徒传信也是来自于 Narada Muni. So all the devotees in the Krishna consciousness movement, we also follow in the footsteps of Narada Muni. 因此 ，Krishna 直觉的所有的奉献者成员们都应该追随 Narada Muni 的步伐。And we chant also the holy names. We chant the Maha Mantra, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. We chant the holy name. We also chant the Hari Krishna Maha Mantra. And we devotees go everywhere to deliver the fallen souls by chanting the holy name. 奉献者去到任何一个地方，通过唱诵圣名来拯救。And we also teach the instructions of the Bhagavad Gita and the Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita. 而且我们还呃教导他们有关佛家梵歌、圣典佛教法坛以及 Chaitanya Charitamrita 的教导。So this is how we please the supreme personality of Godhead. 我们通过这些方式来取悦至尊人格首身。So we can we can make advancement in spiritual life. If we follow the instructions of Narada Muni, if we can please Narada Muni, then the supreme personality of Godhead will also be pleased. If Narada Muni can be pleased, then the supreme personality of Godhead will also be pleased. Our spiritual teacher. Our guru is the representative of Narada Muni. There's no difference between him and Narada Muni. Our spiritual teacher should be also the representative of Narada Muni. They have no difference between Narada Muni and Narada Muni. And both Narada Muni and the spiritual teachers today, the spiritual teachers, are speaking the same things. They're speaking the teachings of Krishna. Our spiritual teacher and Narada Muni. 他们的教导应该是没有区别的，他们都是讲的 Krishna 的教导。Just like in the final chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says to engage our mind in thinking of Him, become His devotee, to worship Him, and offer respects to Him. 就像主 Krishna 在《佛家梵歌》的最后所所说的，恒常想着我，成为我的奉献者，崇拜我，顺从我。And Krishna says, "This way you will come to me without fail." 就这样，你能够到达我，而且你不必害怕。Krishna says, "I promise you this because you're my very dear friend." 我向你承诺这一点，因为你是我最亲密的朋友。And then Krishna goes on and says, "Give up all varieties of religion and just surrender to me." Krishna 继续说道，放弃一切种类的宗教，只是向我臣服。I will free you from all sinful reactions. Don't fear. So the Haryasvas, these sons of Prajapati Daksha, were very well behaved, very cultured. 
哈尔亚什瓦这哈尔加帕蒂的一万个儿子们，他们的举止都非常的得体，非常有文化。But because of the instruction of Narada Muni, they didn't follow the instruction of their father. 由于拿尔达穆利的教导，他们并没有追随他们原本的当时这个父亲的教导。So Narada Muni he went to Daksha and he told Daksha that you know your sons are not coming back. 拿尔达穆利去到达克沙那里说：“你的儿子们不会再回来。” So Daksha was very sorry. He lamented because he knew they were very good sons, and he lost all of them. 达克沙听到这个消息之后，他变得悲伤起来，因为他彻底的失去了这些孩子们。So Daksha was very sorry, very sad. 所以达克沙非常非常的悲伤。So, the, because because of their good qualities, uh, the Haryasvas uh, they went to perform austerity. And, and see, initially they were following the order of their father, Daksha. He told them to go and do austerity. 由于哈尔亚什瓦他们呃举止得体，所以他们立即就追随了他们父亲的命令去从事苦行。Because Daksha was thinking if they do austerity first, then when they get married, then they'll get good sons for their family. 因为当时认为，当他的儿子们去从事了苦行，再回来结婚之后，他们一定能够繁衍出很优秀的后代。But Narada Muni took advantage of them. And he saw, he saw their good qualities, and he thought to save them from material life. And he thought better to use their good qualities to get out of the material world. So the Haryasvas they followed Narada Muni's instructions. So the Haryasvas men, they followed Narada Muni's instructions. And when Prajapati, when Prajapati Daksha found out about this, then he was not happy. He was very sorry. When Prajapati Daksha heard about this news, he was very very sorry. When Prajapati Daksha heard about this news, he was very very sorry. So Prabhupada says, he said, in the same way, we are also trying to bring young men to Krishna consciousness. And he said, certainly, if they become Krishna conscious, this is for their good, this is for their benefit. 如果这些年轻的男孩子能加入到 Krishna 之觉，这是对他们非常有益的，非常好的。But the parents of the young men who become devotees, they become very sorry. 但是这些加入到 Krishna 之觉这些男孩子们，他们的父母，他们并不会开心，他们反而会悲伤难过。And they try to stop their children becoming devotees. Now, Prajapati Daksha, he didn't try to stop his sons going with Narada Muni. Prajapati Daksha, uh, he did not stop his sons going with Narada Muni. But later, you see, Daksha curses 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 Narada Muni. It's like that. Material mother and father, they always want their sons to be involved in material life. They always want them to get married and have children. And he want, they want them to make a lot of money. And they want to see them rotting in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in the material life. He wants them to rot in
能够呃沉浸在这个物质生活之中。And when the children, when the children become spoiled and when they become useless, their parents they they don't lament. 甚至他们的孩子在呃受到溺爱成为一种无用的人的时候，他们也不会不开心不快乐。They think, oh, no problem. They're just like everybody else. <笑>没有关系，你跟其他人也一样。But but when they join Krishna consciousness movement to to become Krishna conscious, then their parents feel very sorry. Oh. 但是当他们的孩子一旦加入了 Krishna 知觉运动时，他们就悲伤了。So Prabhupada said this 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 has been the mood between parents and Krishna consciousness. This conflict has been there since the beginning of time. 圣爸爸的解释道：自亘古以来，物质的这种父母和 Krishna 知觉运动之间就存在着这种敌意。Even Narada Muni. Had this problem so many thousands of years ago. Even in the thousands of years ago, Narada Muni also had this problem. But it didn't stop Narada Muni. He didn't give up. He kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Muni. Narada Muni always kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Muni. Narada Muni always kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Muni. Narada Muni always kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Muni. Narada Muni always kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Muni. Narada Muni always kept preaching to people. But this did not stop Narada Mm. Just, just this morning, I was, we were talking, we were teaching the Bhagavad Gita Bhakti Shastri to some devotees. So we were discussing, we were discussing about、uh, some of the difficulties which are there in being a devotee. 就像今天早上我我在讲，我在给一些人讲这个巴提萨垂奉爱经典课程的时候，有一些奉献者谈到他们成为奉献者的呃阻碍，一些困难。And so one of the devotees was saying, you know, their family, they 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 always want, they they think, you know, we want to go out to the restaurant, we can go to vegetarian restaurant, or they want to go to cinema, they want to go and see a movie. 嗯，这个有其中有一个奉献者就提到，他的父母总是希望他能够去到餐餐厅，去到电影院，去能够看电影等等这些事情。And, and they tell, they tell, you know, the mother's a devotee, and she's trying to practice Krishna consciousness, and they say, let's just be like other families. Let's just go out and go to restaurant and go to cinema. Let's just be like a normal family. 他们这个家庭之中的这个母亲是个奉献者，但是呢，他们家人就说：“让我们成为一个普通的家庭吧，就让我们去餐馆吃吃饭，让我们去电影院看看电影。” So people think like they they think the normal family has to do everything like that. They go to cinemas, they go to restaurants, and they do all kinds of sinful activities, and they think this is normal. 人们很多很多人都是这样想的，他认为我们就做一些普通家庭该做的事情，比如说看看电影、去餐馆吃吃饭。他认，但是实际上这些都是比较罪恶的事情，但是他们认为这些罪恶的事情是正常的。When you, when you try to be a devotee, they think, oh, so strange, oh, you're so weird, you're so different from everybody else. 哦、oh, ，你想成为一个奉献者啊？那太奇怪了，太古怪了，你跟。周围其他人都不一样。It's so, so difficult sometimes to be devotees with people when you mix it. If you have to mix with people who are not devotees. 所以，当你不得不和一些人混合在一起，呃的时候，要成为一个奉献者，真的是蛮困难。<coughs> so Prajapati Daksha was lamenting. He was feeling so sorry about his ten thousand sons that they'd all gone off without him. Prajapati Daksha 为失去他的一万个儿子，都感感觉到非常的悲伤。So then Lord Brahma came and Lord Brahma spoke nice words and encouraged him. 
，所以主 Brahma 来了，他说了一些非常好的话，让 Prajapati Daksha 平静下来。So then Daksha had some more children. At this time, he conceived one thousand children in the womb of his wife. 所以当时又开始繁衍后代。这一次，他通过他妻子的子宫得到了一千个儿子，一千个孩子。Yeah, they're all boys. Yes, they're called the Savalashvas. Savalashvas means one thousand. 这些一千，这些一千个孩子都是儿子，他们被称为 Savalashva, La Lashva. So Daksha, he got the name. Daksha means expert. So he was very expert in conceiving children. Daksha 的意思是老练，非常非常熟练的。他非常熟，善于呃繁衍孩子。So his first ten thousand sons, the Haryashvas, they all went back home, back to Godhead. 他之前的一万个儿子全部都回归守神了。So his next set of sons, the one thousand sons, they're called the Shavalashvas. 他另外一批孩子，这第二批孩子，这一千个儿子被称为 Savalashva. So Daksha is he's expert in begetting children, and Narada Muni he's also expert in delivering the conditioned souls back to Godhead. Daksha 非常善于繁衍孩子，繁衍后代，而 Narada Muni 又非常善于拯救这些受条件限制的灵魂。So the material materialistic experts like Daksha, they do not agree with the spiritual experts like Narada Muni. 所以物质主义的专家，他并不赞同于灵性、灵性的这些专家，像 Narada Muni 这样的灵性。But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to give up his engagement. He's still going to continue to do his job. But this does not mean that Narada Muni is going to That they should go and do some austerity first of all, and then when they come back, you get them married, and they can beget children. The second pair of children also received the Daksha's command. They were they also went to a place to do some austerity. When they did some austerity, the Daksha would arrange for a marriage. So they went to the same place where the first group of the where their older brothers had gone. That, that same holy place called Narayana Saras. So this, the one thousand sons, the Savalasvas, they all went there, and they were sitting there on the bank of the lake there. And they were meditating, and they were very good. They were very well behaved. So it's interesting to see Daksha. He didn't hesitate to send his sons to the same place. 在这里很有趣的一点是 ，Prajapati Daksha 他并没有犹豫。把他的孩子派到同一个地方，他并没有感到很犹豫。Yeah, he he didn't think, oh, they might also get, they may also get taken in by Narada Muni instruction. He didn't think like that. 他开始的时候并没有那么去想说，拿尔达穆里就要把我的儿子转，可能就我们我的儿子如果去到那里的话，就被说说服成为了奉献者。他并没有那么去想。No, he just thought that they're. You know they have to get training, and they have to go there. They have to do their austerity first before they can become grihastas. He first thought of is that his sons should go there, should get training, before they can become grihastas. They should get training before they can become grihastas. They should get training before they can become grihastas. So they should get spiritual under. They first they should be good brahmacharis, trained as good brahmacharis, and then they will be good for householder life, and they can have nice children. 在他们进入到居士生活之前，他们应该
训练成为好的真手生，这样他才他们才能够得到好好品质的孩子们。So this is the Vedic culture like this. That first you become do brahmachari life and get good training and control the senses, and then you're qualified to be a good householder. This is Vedic culture. You first get in the Brahmachari stage, then get good training, and then you can enter the householder stage and become a good householder. So Daksha sent them to go ahead, go ahead, go and get your do your austerities first. So Daksha put their sons there to get to that place. You should do some hard work first. First, you should do some hard work first. So he 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 didn't think that maybe these second sons they'll also be like the first sons. They may also become intelligent like their older brothers, and they may not come home. Daksha didn't think like that. Daksha didn't 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 think like that. Daksha 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 didn't think like that. 获得获得好的这个自信之后，就不会再回来。他并没有那么去想。No, he depended on them to choose for themselves that they will return home, whether they should return turn home back to Godhead or whether they should stay in the material world. He knew it. it's their choice. 当时知道这一切都在于。呃，都依靠的是他的儿子们的自己的这个决定和抉择。无论是他们是否，无论是他们做出回归守生、回归家园的这个选择，还是继续留在这个物质世界的这个选择，这是他们自己的决定。So it's the duty of the father to give a good education to his sons. 父亲的职责是给予儿子一个好的教育。And then the son can decide for himself which way, what he's going to do. So if somebody's a good father, they won't stop their son from making, if they make spiritual advancement, if they come to Krishna consciousness. No, the duty of the father is to give the son freedom to make his own choice. But of course, the, the, the son has to also, he first has to get training, he has to make some advancement, he has to take instructions from the spiritual teacher. 当然，在这个孩子做决定之前，他应该得到灵性导师的一些训练，然后得到他的一些训语，取得灵性进步之后。So the son is the son is should be given the opportunity to make spiritual advancement. 因此，孩子应该得到一些机会，能够在灵性，在灵性的道路上取得一些进步。And if they feel they're making spiritual advancement, then they want to continue. That. Of course, of course, not all sons will want to make spiritual advancement. So sons who they don't want spiritual advancement, they can go back, get married, and go in family life. 如果有一些有一些孩子，他并没有在灵性上取得进步，他他他他可以自主选择，他可以回到物质生活之中，他可以娶妻生子。So the second group of the sons, they did their austerities just like the first group of sons. 第二批孩子跟第一批第一批孩子，他们一样在那里做了一些苦行。They bathed in the holy water. And just simply by the touch of that water, all their material desires in their hearts were taken away. And they chanted mantras beginning with Om, and they did a lot of austerity. Like every mantra will begin with the Om Kara. Many mantras, all the mantras, are from Om Kara. 
Just like we have Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, begins with Om. So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also says, I am the syllable Om in the Vedic mantras. So chanting of the Vedic mantras beginning with Om is the same as chanting Krishna's name. If we chant Om or if we address the Lord as Krishna, it's the same. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said better to chant Hare Krishna mantra. Even though there's no difference between the two, still it's better to chant Hare Krishna. Because people, sometimes people chant Om, they forget that Krishna is a person. And they think the Supreme God is just simply Om, just simply sound. But we should understand Om is the sound representation of Krishna. So the, the 1,000 sons of Daksha, they were all there at the holy place and they were drinking only water and the only thing they ate was air. And they were there for several months, for a few months. And when they were doing that, at the same time they were reciting the mantra. They were offering their obeisances to Narayan, the personality of Godhead. That he is the supreme, he's in his supreme abode and he is the supreme person. And they just pray to offer their obeisances unto him. So Srila Prabhupada explains to us that the chanting of the Maha Mantra or the Vedic Mantra has to be also done along with some austerity. But in Kali Yuga, people cannot do austerity like what's described here, just drinking only water and eating only air for months. We cannot imitate that. But we can do some austerity, just like following the four principles, giving up illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication and gambling. And if we do this tapasya, then along with chanting Hare Krishna, then we'll get a lot of spiritual benefit. But we shouldn't give up austerity. And Prabhupada said, if possible, we should bathe in the Ganga or the Yamuna. 
申帕帕德说，如果可能的话，我们应该在红河或雅穆纳河去沐浴。And if you're not near the Ganga or the Yamuna, then you can bathe in the sea. 如果我们那我们这里没有恒河或雅穆纳河的话，我们可以去海里沐浴，海中大海里去沐浴。This is an austerity. 这也是一种苦行。So Krishna, that's why in Krishna consciousness we have our temples in Vrindavan and in Mayapur. 这就是为什么我们的 Krishna 知觉有两个很大的中心庙宇，一个在 Vrindavan， 一个在 Mayapur。Yeah, then we that so that we can bathe in the Ganga or the Yamuna, and we can chant Hare Krishna, and then this way become perfect and go back to Godhead. 这样我们就可以在恒河或雅穆纳河中沐浴，然后唱诵 Hare Krishna， 以此获得完美，回归家园，回归首身。So Narada Muni came to speak to these sons of Daksha. Narada Muni 开始接近 Daksha 的这些儿子们。He knew they were doing austerities so that in the future they could beget children. 他知道这些孩子要做一些苦行，是为了将来繁衍后代。So Narada Muni came to speak to them, just like he'd spoken to their elder brothers. Narada Muni 开始就对他们说话，就像 Narada Muni 之前对他们。So Narada Muni said to them, "He said, 'You are all very affectionate. You you like very much your older brothers, the Haryasvas. So you should follow their path.'" Narada Muni said, "You are all very affectionate. You like very much your older brothers, the Haryasvas. So you should follow their path." Narada Muni said, "You are all very affectionate." So Narada Muni began speaking to them. First of all, he encouraged them to think, to remember their older brothers, because naturally they'll respect their older brothers. Narada Muni 开始说话的时候是以以以激励他们去回忆他们的这些兄长，因为很自然的这些人他们都会尊敬他们的兄长。So Narada Muni understood the nature of the family affection that you know younger brothers affectionate to the older brother. Narada Muni 也知道在家庭关系之中，呃，父母兄长兄长会影响着这些弟弟们。So Narada Muni was reminding the younger brothers about their older brothers that they should they should do like their older brothers. 所以，拿尔达穆里向这些一千个儿子们提起他们的兄长，让他们追随他们的这些兄长。嗯。So, uh, there's a there's a word, uh, nigama, and there's a special word here which, uh, Narada Muni used. There's a word nigama, which is referring to the Vedas. Here, there's a word nigama. Here, this nigama refers to the Vedas, which contain the teachings. But in this case, the word nigama refers to the instructions which are in the Vedas. This nigama refers to the Vedas, which contain the teachings. Usually, the word nigama refers to the Vedas. In the, in the second verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam, the second verse is, it says Nigama Kaupata Rod Galitam Palam. It says Nigama, Nigama, that word Nigama. So Nigama Kaupata, the, 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 the instructions of the Vedas are like a tree. And the Srimad Bhagavatam is the fruit of the tree. 圣典摩迦瓦谭的第二个世界中说到，韦达金恰似一韦达金的训谕恰似一棵树，而圣典摩迦瓦谭便是这棵树上成熟的果实。So Narada Muni he is distributing the fruit, this fruit of Srimad Bhagavatam. Narada Muni 就在派发圣典摩迦瓦谭的这些果实。
So Narada Muni told Vyasadeva to write this Srimad Bhagavatam for the benefit of all people in the human society because they're all ignorant. Narada Muni says you know, the miseries of the people can be removed just simply by devotional service. Um, sorry, Gurudev, is, is it said by Narada Muni or Vyasadeva? Srimad Bhagavatam, it's said by Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay. Yeah. In, the in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Narada Muni is instructing Vyasadeva. And, and Narada Muni is telling Vyasadeva that the miseries of the living entity, the miseries of the people in the material world can be ended by devotional service. Narada Muni but people don't know this. So that's why we want that's why Narada Muni wanted Vyasadeva to write the Srimad Bhagavatam. People are suffering because of ignorance. They're following the wrong path, they're looking for happiness, but they're only getting suffering, they're on the wrong path. And their material activities will not make them happy. So Narada Muni told Vyasadeva to write Srimad Bhagavatam. And Vyasadeva followed Narada Muni. He did this. So Srimad Bhagavatam is the, the supreme instruction of the Vedas. Yeah, Srimad Bhagavatam is the fruit, the ripened fruit of the Vedas. So Narada Muni is preaching to these 1,000 brothers, the Shavalasvas, and he's te he tells them that a brother will follow the footsteps of the older brother. The younger brother should follow the footsteps of the older brother. Narada Muni and when they follow, when the brother, when the brother, they're pious, then they follow, then they'll get the opportunity to associate with demigods. No, they can associate with demigods like the Maruts who were very affectionate to their brothers. Yeah, Maruts are demigods in the higher planets. So Narada Muni is telling them that if you follow your older brothers, you can also go to heaven, you can associate with these demigods. Well, people get promoted to different planets according to their activities. So the Narada Muni was saying the younger brothers should follow the older brothers and that way they will also go to heaven. Narada Muni 
年轻的弟弟追随兄长们的步伐，他们甚至能够去到兄去到天堂星球。Actually, they won't just go to heaven; they'll be able to go to the spiritual world. 事实上，他们不，他们不仅呃能够去到天堂，他们甚至能够回到灵性世界。Right, their older brothers they didn't just go to heaven; they went back to Godhead. 因为他们的兄长们没有去到天堂星球，他们都回归了守神。So after Narada Muni had said like this to the to these one、uh, thousand brothers, the sons of Daksha, then they they took Narada Muni's instruction. They followed it. 当 Narada Muni 给这一千个儿子说了这些训谕之后，这一千这这一千个儿子他们追随了 Narada Muni 的训谕。And、they decided there's no need to produce children. They just became. They just wanted to be Krishna conscious. They didn't want to become fathers of children. They just wanted to be Krishna conscious devotees. 于是他们就决定，没有必要再成为，再再去繁衍后代，没有必要去成为一个孩子的父亲，只是成为一个奉献者，从事 Krishna 之觉。So the s h a p h i l o s o p h e r s they took the right path. They took the correct path. 所以沙巴呃沙巴拉什瓦他们追随了正确的途径。They were able to. Get devotional service, and they got the mercy of the Supreme Lord Krishna. So they never returned. They never came back home to their family to see their father. <laughs> They'd gone back to Godhead. 所以他们再也没有回到家，再也没有去回到他父亲那里，他们都回归守神。But they didn't return even now. They've never come back. 即便到现在，他们都没有返回。So at this time, then Daksha saw, he could see there were many inauspicious signs. 这个时候，达沙察觉到很多不吉祥的征兆。And then he got information from different places. He heard also that the second group of sons, the Shavalasvas, had followed their elder brothers. 这个时候，他也得到了一些消息。他知道他的第二批孩子沙巴、沙巴拉什瓦，他们他们得到他们追随了拿尔的拿尔的穆里的训谕。Yeah, he got the he Daksha heard that this. Younger sons, he got instructions from Narada Muni. He knew that these children's sons followed Narada Muni's instructions. So in this way, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha was very angry at Narada Muni. Just like that, Daksha 非常的悲伤，他几乎昏过去了。And then his lips were trembling in anger. 他的嘴唇在颤抖，他也愤怒道。And it was at this time Narada Muni came to see him. 这个时候 ，Narada Muni 来见他。So Narada Muni had delivered the family. The, the Narada Muni, he was the guru of the family of Swambhuva Manu. Narada Muni 实实际上是 Swambhuva Manu 整个家族的灵性导师。And he had delivered the sons of Swambhuva Manu, Priyavrata and Uttanapada. 他拯救了 Priyavrata, Uttanapada. And Uttanapada, he had a son, Druva. He was also a disciple of Narada Muni. Narada Muni delivered him. 他还拯救了乌塔纳帕达的儿子朱瓦玛哈拉，朱瓦玛哈拉也是拿尔达穆尼的门徒，拿尔达穆尼拯救了朱瓦玛哈拉。And Narada Muni also delivered Prachini Bari. Narada Muni 还拯救了 Prachini Bari. Prachini Bari, he was he was doing a lot of karma kandi activities. Prachini Bari 他从事了很多功利性的活动。But Narada Muni changed him and made him a devotee. 
But Narada Muni had never been able to deliver Prajapati Daksha. So when Daksha saw Narada Muni coming before him, Narada Muni, he had come to see Daksha, he was thinking he wanted to make Daksha a devotee. Because Narada Muni thought that now Daksha is really sad, he's lost all of his sons, so when people are in distress, it's a good time for them to become devotees, They're good. they can take up Bhakti Yoga. Right. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that there are four kinds of pious people who surrender to Krishna, and one is the people who are in distress. So Narada Muni knew that Prajapati was, the Daksha was in great distress because he'd lost all of his sons. So Narada Muni thought, now I can make him a devotee. So Narada Muni has come, he wants to tell him about how to get liberation from the material world. So we'll hear what happens when Narada Muni meets with Prajapati Daksha in the next class. So Okay, so we'll stop here today and ask if there's any questions. Okay. Um, first question from from Rajendra Prabhu. Dimbai Chiyana Maharaji, Dimbai Chiyana Prabhu. Krishna Bechangwei Purusha or Adi Purusha, Gurti Nyungun Bechangwei Prakriti, then Yoshi Gurti Nyungun Ye Bechangwei Purusha. Ji Shi Prakriti, Ye Shi Purusha, Shifo Yu Maudun, then Shimian Chinkonsha Gurti Nyungun Shi Purusha. First question from Rajendra Abbasis to Maharaj. Uh, Krishna sometimes uh, be called uh, is called uh, Purusha or Adi Purusha. Living entity also uh, are called is called Prakriti, but sometimes we call the living entity also Purusha. So why is Purusha Purusha and Prakriti? Uh, it seems that have some contradiction. So in which condition? In which condition? The living entity can be called a purusha. Well, a living entity is trying to be the purusha, but actually he's not. Krishna is the real purusha. Purusha means enjoy it. And prakriti, prakriti means what's enjoyed. So Parusha means the male and the Prakriti means female. Purusha is Prakriti is We are like female in relation to Krishna. Krishna is the real male, he is the real Purusha. And we are meant to be enjoyed by Krishna. Yeah. So we're trying to be the Purusha. That's the problem. We're not really the Purusha, but we try to be the Purusha. Krishna 
because we are in illusion. We are thinking this world is for our enjoyment. We are thinking we are the Purusha. Actually, Krishna is the real Purusha. That's right. We don't hear Arjuna going back to Godhead. Arjuna stays in the material world because Krishna has to speak Bhagavad Gita. So wherever Krishna goes, Arjuna goes with him. Krishna will speak Bhagavad Gita to him. So Arjuna don't have the internal identification the spiritual world. Well, sometimes we say Nara and Narayan. The Krishna and Arjuna are Nara and Narayan. Krishna is Narayan and Arjuna is Nara. So Krishna and Arjuna are Nara and Narayan. So Krishna and Arjuna are Nara and Narayan. Yeah? Okay. Next question from Sati Mataji. Hare Krishna, Chinaida. Chinwe yo may yo name. Hare Krishna. Uh, next question from Yogi Tashama. What happened? To, uh, what, ha what happened to Sati's question? <laughs> he he asked. She asked someone to um, to record this record this lecture because she said some problem with his computer. Okay. Okay. Next question from Yogi Tashama. Hare Krishna, Guru Day. Uh, all. Please accept my humble basis all glory to Srila Papa. Uh, I have two questions. First, all the Indians say the simple Om, simple Om represents the Lord Shiva, where in Iskong say it is a sound, sound form of the Lord, as the Lord said in the Bhagavad Gita. Good day. What is the reason for relating Om to Lord Shiva? I have asked the elders, and uh, I'm told their elders have guided them in this way. They they never question the, their elders like we do today. Could they please enlighten them on this? Oh, I, I've never heard before. I didn't know this that they say Om is Lord Shiva. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, let me translate. Um, this question is from People are all impersonalists, they're influenced by impersonalism. And they think, you know, ultimately Lord Shiva is God and Lord Shiva is light. They think Shiva is simply light. So they think ultimately God has no form. Anyway, if they chant, if they, if they 
if they worship Lord Shiva, if they worship, if they chanting Om, gradually they can get purified. Then they will come to one day they will come to chant Hare Krishna. The problem is most people who chant Om, they think God has no form. They think ultimately God is impersonal. So people have to go further than just simply chanting Om. They should understand God is not just simply energy. But we are all persons. Why do they think God is not a person? Okay. Okay. The second question uh, she asked, Lord Vishnu Narayana, these forms of the Lord have a lot of devotees. Why don't they don't why don't why don't they know of Lord Krishna or worship him instead of his expansions? No, they do. The people who worship Vishnu and Narayan, generally they think Krishna, they think of Krishna as being one of the avatars of Vishnu. Mm. Um, so that's the problem. They're thinking that Vishnu is the supreme and that Vish and that Krishna is the expansion or the incarnation of Vishnu. So I looked up the word Krishna in an English dictionary one time and it was listed in the English dictionary that Krishna is the eighth incarnation of Vishnu. So people don't understand how Lord Krishna is the original personality of Godhead and Vishnu comes from him. So Lord Chaitanya discussed this when he was in uh, Sri Rangam. He discussed this with the Sri Vaishnavas. The Sri Vaishnavas, they worship Narayan. So when Lord Chaitanya was in Sri Rangam, he discussed this with Sri Vaishnavas. So that's recorded in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. In the Madhya Lila, I think it's chapter 9. So Lord Chaitanya would simply say, you know, that why Lakshmi also wanted to dance Rasa Lila. And they will say, because Krishna is also Vishnu, that's why Lakshmi also wants to dance Rasa Lila. But then Lord Chaitanya said, yes, but why did Lakshmi not get into, why was she not able to join Rasa Lila? Lila 
although she did austerities in Vrindavan to try to become a gopi, she couldn't do it. Because she doesn't, she's not as qualified as the gopis. So these are confidential things, not everybody can appreciate. So it's a but anyway, the, even if they worship Vishnu or Narayan, they're Vaishnavas, they also agree that they're the servant of the Supreme Lord. So that's good. We agree with that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, next question from Shama. Hare Krishna, Dimbai Guru Maharaj, Dimbai Kongyajra. Chimun Guru, Yoda Ningfen, Biru Arjuna, Shi Yongfen, Tongyo, Yoda Pinje, Yuan, Chungwe, Tongyo, Shibish Kay, Nije, Chen, Ningfen, Tongo, Luni, Kay, Kai, Bian, Zuji, Yuan, Ben, Shifen. This is the first question. Hare Krishna, obeisance to Guru Maharaj. I want to ask a Guru. Some soa, like the Arjuna, is the internal associate, uh, and uh, some other soa um, use, uh, use his desire become associate. So can I understand the, the soa can, uh, through his effort, become, through his effort, can change his original identification? Yes. But we will not be satisfied until we come to our actual eternal position. We we, we cannot satisfy we, we will not be uh, yeah, we will not be comfortable in some other position which is not meant to be our position. We have to be in our actual constitutional position. When we find our actual position, then we'll feel comfortable. We'll know this is right, this is my position, I'm meant to be like this. We'll feel this is what is the right position for me. I'm suited for this kind of position. So everybody has their own individual nature. So we have to get our right nature, come to our right nature. Then we're happy. So you can change from one position to another, you will not be comfortable. And you can read like that in the uh, Brihad Bhagavad Tamrita. We read about Gopt Kumar, how he traveled many places. And he was traveling all through the spiritual world, different places, different positions. And when fi finally he came to a position where he was actually happy. 
，当他回到他原本的位置的时候，他变得开心起来。OK，OK，、okay. okay. 经典中说，那儿的穆里是女仆的儿子，有时候又说他是 Brahma 的儿子，但又没有说，又没有说他是直接由由 Brahma 创造的吗？该如何理解他的身份呢 ？In the sutra said, the Narada Muni is a female servant's son, the son of the female servant. So, uh, sometimes. Also said the Narada Muni is the son of the Brahma, but we 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 are not we we didn't heard about the the Narada Muni is created directed created by the Lord Brahma. So how can I understand the the identification of the Narada Muni? Well, in previous life, and we heard in previous life he was the son of a maid servant. 在先前的生命，在先前的仪式中，拿尔达穆里是这个女仆的儿子。Right, and before that, before becoming the son of a maid servant, before that he was a, he was a, a Gandharva, a, right? He was a Gandharva, and he was very good looking, and he was singing very beautifully. But he was associating with a lot of women and joking with them. And he got cursed by the Prajapatis to take birth as the son of a maid servant. So then, after the son of the maid servant, then the, the next life he became the son of Brahma. 在成为女仆的儿子之后，他在下一世他成为了主 Brahma 的儿子。And when Brahma gives birth, it, you know, it's not like it's a normal birth. It's not like he has a, has to conceive children in the womb of his wife, but you know, he, they're born from the mind of Brahma. 当主 Brahma 诞生拿尔达穆尼的时候，他并主 Brahma 并不是说找了一个女性，然后繁衍出拿尔达穆尼，而是拿尔达穆尼是由主 Brahma 的心意诞生出来。Mm -hmm. So this is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. You read Srimad Bhagavatam. 这个是由圣典佛教瓦坦所描述的。Yes. Okay. Next question from Radha Tempi. I think in Chandra Vin Nasi Khan. Dimbai Guru, Dimbai Fanyi, Chinjiao Guru. I today saw the Vatan, Shi Gang, Seventy-Eight, Seventy-Nine, Jiao Shi. Said, Guru Balaram, heard that Kuru people are preparing to fight with Pandava brothers. Because he maintains his integrity, he loves the Lord. Why is Guru Balaram very fond of reading Yoda? Obeisance to Guru. I want to ask today. I read the Shema Bhagavatam Canto Ten. It is said, the Lord Balaram, when he heard the Kurus will have a fight with Pandava, Pandavas, then um, then the Balaram uh not join to either one. So he traveled to the holy place. I want to ask why the Balaram, why he love. Loves Duryodhan because Duryodhan was his student. He trained Duryodhan in fighting with the club. Because Duryodhan is his student, he trained Duryodhan in fighting with the club. Because Duryodhan was his student, he trained Duryodhan in fighting with the club. Because Duryodhan was his student, he trained Duryodhan in fighting with the club. Because Duryodhan was his student, he trained Duryodhan in fighting with the club. Because Duryodhan 也非常聪明，擅长于让别人对他产生一种好的印象。So he made a very nice relationship with Lord Balaram. 所以他和主巴勒让之间有很好的关系。And so when it came to the battle of Kurukshetra, Lord Balaram didn't want to get involved. 所以当呃巴勒让看到这个 Kurukshetra 战场
这个发生的时候，他并不想参加，他并不想涉入其中。And we see Lord Krishna also didn't fight. Lord Krishna said, "Also, I'm not going to fight." 主 Krishna 他说他也不想作战。Krishna said, "I'll you." He said, "One side can have my army, other side I'll be chariot driver." 主 Krishna 就说，有一有一方可以拥有我的军队，另一方我可以，我我就。So Krishna, Lord Krishna, he also he also didn't take part in the battle of Kurukshetra. So Lord Krishna, he also didn't take part in the battle of Kurukshetra. So Lord Krishna, but sometimes Lord Balaram, uh, like uh, one time, uh, the son of Lord Krishna, uh, was it Shamba? Shamba had gone off, and he'd uh, he'd kidnapped the daughter of Duryodhan. He wanted to marry her, take her for his wife, and so he'd gone there and he he'd kidnapped the daughter of Duryodhan. So uh, he got arrested. There was a big fight, and he got arrested, and uh, he got kept in the prison. And then Narada Muni, he went to Dwarka and told everyone. So Lord Krishna was going to come with the army and fight, but Balaram said, "No, I will go. I will go and I will arrange everything." So Lord Balaram went there, and and at, at first Duryodhan he didn't want to release, but then Balaram got a little angry and he took his plow. And he broke the ground, and he was going to drag the whole of Hastinapur into the Yamuna. And so then, immediately, Duryodhana said, "Oh no, it's okay. Wait, I'm coming. Just now, I'll bring your daughter. I'll bring Samba, and I'll bring my daughter, and you can take them." Okay. This Samba, there is a girl named Samba. She took Duryodhana's daughter. 女儿给绑架了，他想和独有的女儿成婚，但是呢，他去绑架了他之后，但是又被独有的给抓到牢里去了。所以 Krishna 想设法去把桑巴给救出来，但是巴拉让说不必，我自己一个人去想把把这个事情又给解决了。主巴拉让去到独有的那里去之后，呃，希就是希望独有的能够把桑巴给放了。但是独有党开始并没有答应，于是巴拉让拿起他的这个大，呃，拿起他的这个泥，他差点把哈斯提纳库尔，就是可能就是沉到这个雅木纳河去中去了。所以独有党见到此情况非常的害怕，他说：“不不不不，我现在就把桑巴给放了，然后把我的女儿也放出来。嗯” So Lord Balarama brought back. Krishna's son Samba, along with his wife, who was the daughter of Duryodhan, and they gave a big dowry also. So Balarama did all this just on his own. He saved the whole battle. Balarama did. He went there and dealt with Duryodhan. So Balarama, alone, alone, just from Duryodhan's side, took Samba and his wife. This daughter is Duryodhan's daughter. 他一个人就免拯救了这场战，就是避免了这场战争的发发生。因为主奎上当时想派人过去和独有丹作战，但是巴拉让一个人就把这个情况给免除了。And Balarama, of course, Balarama's sister is Subhadra. They're both、uh, children of Vasudev and Rohini.、Uh, so Subhadra is very beautiful, and.、Uh, Balarama arranged his her marriage. He wanted to get her married to Duryodhan, Duryodhana. But Lord Krishna, he wanted Subhadra to marry Arjuna, and Arjuna wanted to. He liked Subhadra. He wanted to marry Subhadra. Subhadra. 还有这个巴拉让的妹妹 Subhadra， 呃。他本来是想把这个 Subhadra 嫁给这个 Duryodhan， 但是主 Krishna 他并不希望 Subhadra 嫁给阿尔嫁给 Duryodhan， 他希望这个 Subhadra 跟阿尔朱纳结婚
Arjuna Tebe Yasu Tebe Shivan, he really likes Subhadra. So uh, Lord Krishna told Arjuna to disguise himself as a sannyasi. And so Arjuna disguised himself like a sannyasi and he was staying outside at Dwarka. And so one day they, they somehow he got the opportunity to come into the palace and he was able to kidnap Subhadra and he ran away with her. So Balara, when Balaram found out, he was very angry and he wanted to kill Arjuna. Mm. Arjuna Yeah, but Lord Krishna pacified him because it was Lord Krishna's desire, Balaram had to accept it. So sometimes, you know, Balaram is a little different from Lord Krishna, they have their different friends. Just like uh, Krishna was married to Rukmini, and Rukmini had a brother called Rukmi, and Rukmi was a, he was a really quite a bad, a bad person. And so he arranged for a, a gambling match with Balaram, and they were having a gambling match together, and Rukmi kept cheating Balaram. And so finally Lord Balaram just killed him. So when Balaram killed Rukmi, then Krishna couldn't say anything to him because Balaram had killed the brother of Krishna's wife. So Krishna's wife Rukmini was sorry because her brother had been killed, but Krishna couldn't say anything to, to, to Balaram because, you know, Balaram's his older, older brother. And <laughs> it's a difficult situation. So <laughs> Rukmini just had to. She she saw her brother killed by Balaram, and Krishna you know, couldn't really say much to Rukmini, and he couldn't say anything to Balaram. If he said something to Rukmini, it wouldn't be pleasing to Balaram, and if he said something to Balaram, it wouldn't be pleasing to Rukmini. <laughs> Krishna的妻子Rukmini有一个哥哥叫Rukmi 这个时候也比较尴尬他这个时候又没有说任何一句话因为他如果去安抚如何命令的话这个时候对他的哥哥巴拉拉姆不太好如果他要去安抚如何命令的话这个时候又对如何命令不太好所以这个时候的这个情况
um, they think the simple activities like the watch movie and uh, go to the restaurant eating and uh, shopping, uh, drink the wine and any other um, activity. They think these uh, simple activities as the normal activities. They don't re recognize these things are simple. And uh, they also think this is happiness. So is this the cause of the Maya's power? Yeah, very much. This is all the cause of Maya, the illusion. Material energy, very powerful. The whole world is under the power of Maya. So Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Manushya Nam Sahasrisu Kaschinyatati Siddhaya, that only one man among thousands is even thinking about perfection. And of those who have achieved perfection, hardly one knows me in truth. So the power of the illusory energy, material energy, keeps people in, in this world. And we're thinking, people are think, still thinking that although they see everybody dying and going to Yamaraj, but still they're trying to enjoy. So in Mahabharata it's described like that. What is the most wonderful thing in the world? And Maharaj Yudhisthira said, the most wonderful thing is that although we see everybody's die, everybody's dead, we're thinking, I will not die. So they say there's one temple which everyone will go to. One temple, that temple is the temple of Yamaraj at the time of death. Everybody has to go there. So, are the same with uh, um, the nature of uh, in, the nature when we in the material world? No. Material world has nothing to do with the, 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 the nature in the material world. Well, in the material world, we see there's male and female, there's animals, there's plants and trees, there's all different species of life. It's all there in the spiritual world as well, the same. Just like we know there's different relationships in the material world. There's servants, there's parents, there's friends, there's lovers. So the same is there in the spiritual world. Here in the material world, it's a perverted reflection. All our relationships are based on the body.
But the spiritual world, it's all pure spiritual based on the soul. Yes? Mm. Yes? Mm. Uh, finish. No question. Time doesn't exist in the spiritual world, but we hear that time is eternal. So how is it eternal? So we have to understand time is described as Kala Chakra, the wheel of time. It's like a wheel. There's no beginning and no end to a wheel. It's just going round. It's just endless. And in the spiritual world, we say there's no time. There's no time in the effect of time as we know it in the material world, because time in the material world is destructive. Yeah. So there's an impression of time because Krishna enjoys the Leela. He has to enjoy his Leela. Just like Leela, every morning go out with the cows, every evening come back with the cows. And he feels also separation from the gopis. The gopis can feel separation when Krishna goes out every day. And then also at night, Krishna has to enjoy Rasa Lila. So there's the impressions of time, although there's no time in the destructive sense in the spiritual world. So the wheel of time, it, it never stops rolling. The wheel of the time never stops. It keeps moving, keeps rolling. Okay. Time, time never stops. Uh, so then the, the another question which was asked is uh, in relation to Kaliya, the goddess of uh, Kaliya, the, the snake who came into the waters of the Yamuna how he uh, he was poisoning the waters of the Yamuna, and then his wives came and offered prayers to Krishna. So the wives of Kaliya, they're called Nagapatnis, means the wives of the snake, and, and they offer beautiful prayers to Krishna. And one of their prayers, they pray to Krishna that you are the cause of all of our desires. And 
And so devotee was asking me, when we have so many bad desires coming in our mind, how could it be all due to Krishna? So this is like a question which was asked by uh, one uh, pilot. When Prabhupada was traveling in an airplane one time, the pilot came and talked to Prabhupada. And he was very intelligent, Prabhupada said, and he asked nice questions. And one of the questions the pilot wanted to know, he said, since God is all good, he said, where does evil come from? So Prabhupada explained, he said, just, he said, evil comes from the back side of Krishna. And he said, the front side, from the front is all good, but from the back side, the evil comes. So when you go to the back, when you're at the back of Krishna, that's where the evil comes. Just like you can, we can go out into the light and be in the sunlight, or we can stay in the darkness if we want. We stay inside the room and close the doors and curtains and keep all the light out and make the room dark. So we get cho we get choice. We're given free will. We can choose to be in the in the light or in the dark. In the same way, we can desire. We can desire good or we can desire evil. Krishna gives us that free will. Krishna And of course, we have to suffer. If we desire evil, we suffer. We get the reaction. It's all our doing. You can't say it's Krishna's fault. It's our own choice. Krishna gives us free will. Krishna But Krishna is like the, the overseer. And he's a, the permitter, right? As a super soul. The super soul is described in the Bhagavad Gita as Upadrasta and Anumanta, the overseer and the permitter of activities. Uh -huh. okay. So, so one devotee had asked these questions. I took the opportunity to share them with you here today. Okay. This is Hare Krishna, 亲爱的Guru Maharaj, 顶拜你甜美莲花族,顶拜翻译主持人和所有奉献者。做你性活动的时候,就有Krishna之觉,去工作的时候和非奉献者接触,就容易把Krishna给忘记了。Krishna之觉断断续续的。我不知道自己处于
I don't know uh, what kind of condition I am. What can I do? Well, you must continue to do your sadhana every morning. You have to chant Hare Krishna. You have to prepare yourself to go to work. You cannot give up work. You have to keep working, but you have to strengthen your mind. If you do good sadhana, hearing and chanting in the morning, then you can go to work and remember Krishna. Okay。Okay。No,Harivam's uh, is that means we we didn't uh, we should not we should not awaken that people who are affected by Maya because awaken them are very dangerous like the uh, Jesus he wake the people who are in Maya but the, the people um, they near the Jesus. Mm. Well. It's a question of how com how much compassion you feel for them. We have to consider, you know, if we if we have some medicine, if we got some something to help people, to benefit people, to improve their life, we should want to give it to them and try to help them. If you see somebody on the roof and they're flying their kite in the air and they're on the roof of the building and they're not watching where they're going and they could fall off the roof any time and if you come up and grab them and save them from falling off the roof then you're their greatest friend. They may not like it. They may say, why are you disturbing me? I'm flying my kite. But you're saving their life. Mm. Well, they may, no, they don't think you're their friend. They think you. Oh. They think you're disturbing me. Why are you disturbing me? I'm enjoying myself flying my kite. Why are you giving me trouble? But you you are actually doing them the greatest service. But they may not be able to understand. They may not appreciate you. Okay. Okay. Next is Woman在灵性世界的本性是仆人,是快乐,是不是意味着我们在这个物质世界当个仆人也是快乐满足的?从这个角度说,物质世界,灵性世界仆人本性是一致的吗? Uh, when we are in the spiritual world, our nature is servant, and that servant is the happiness. Is that means when we in the material world, we, we do as a servant, it's also happiness and satisfied. So in this, uh, so in this condition, in sense that the spiritual servant and the material servant, 
the both servants and nature are the same. Well, not, not always. It may be if you're in the consciousness that you're in the material world but you're serving Krishna or you're serving Krishna's devotees, so you may be happy. But we often see in material world somebody's a servant and they're planning to be the master. They're thinking, why I have to be the servant? I want to be the master. And somebody material world, somebody's a servant, they don't like to work. They just want to get money, they want to be paid, but they don't want to work. But in the spiritual world, a devotee, he, he, he just wants service and he's not thinking about how much he will be paid. So there are some big differences between service in the material world and in the spiritual world. One more question from Mao Mao. Do you want to answer? Yeah. Okay. Mao Mao. Chingada my respective Gurde, I have a question. Is why Krishna won't create us? Sometimes I think if Krishna not create us, then have no sufferings. But sometimes, I think if no suffering, uh, sometimes if I don't feel sufferings, I will forget this question. So it's all from the Maya's illusion. And so Krishna created us for his enjoyment. <laughs> Right. We, we, and we, if, if we give pleasure to Krishna, when we give pleasure to Krishna, then we also enjoy. And just like in the material world, a father will have children, he will want to conceive children because he enjoys having a child, bringing up a child. So, if, if Krishna didn't create us, then you say we wouldn't suffer, but there'd be no enjoyment also. Krishna, <laughs> Of course, Krishna is self-sufficient. He doesn't need us to enjoy. He's very happy on his own. But he's giving all of us a chance that we... You have to understand, we're not created. We're eternal. We've, we're always existing. Right? So our purpose is to give pleasure to Krishna. And if we give pleasure to Krishna, then we will find the greatest pleasure also in our life.
All right, so we will stop here today. Woman, thank Subodhi. Woman, Ganshia Subodhi Rai Prabhu, give Woman Fandi, Ganshia Soil of Functions and Ling Ting, Ju Fu Niman Chang Song Kwai La, Ju Yan Tuan Bahu, Ao Dong Shin Ti, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Jai, Krishna. Going back to Vrinda Ki. Jai, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.